today on X-Play. We lose some magic. We play some instruments. And we get in showbiz. Dress up in a gorilla costume. It's game time. Let's rock. Sessler, Morgan, Morgan Webb. Prepare to be reviewed. Prepare to be reviewed. This is X Play. X -play. X -play. You're invited to the bat mitzvah of Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Hello and welcome to X-Play. Today, Morgan and I are going to take these elf stones to the magical blood fire to rekindle the Elkris. Adam is having an unfortunate flashback to all the low-quality fantasy novels he read in 1994. Remember, kids, you think a Mercedes Lackey novel is a fun way to waste an afternoon? But you'll be living with the consequences for the rest of your life. It's why you should stick to games like Lost Magic, giving you all the spell casting of a mediocre Tolkien ripoff with only half the magical talking horses. And we review Red Orchestra, Oats Front 41 to 45, a World War II shooter about a crack band of leftist flugel hornists who were bent on thwarting Hitler one sonata at a time. Later on the show, we return to Peter Molyneux's gift to fans of absurdist machinima. The movie's stunts and effects allows you to take your heartfelt chick flicks and throw in the wire fighting and lasers that get the male demos in the seats. But first, we turn to the realm of magic and adventure, where a lad can accomplish anything with nimble fingers and a little know-how. Here's Lost Magic. Oh, Harry Potter, what have you wrought? A wand-obsessed populace and a gaggle of game designers hungry to cash in on your dreadful creation by releasing one terrible magic-themed game after another. Okay, maybe that's a little harsh. If practicing your penmanship dying repeatedly or sitting through endless dialogue diatribes entertains you, then maybe you'll feel differently about Lost Magic for the Nintendo DS. In Lost Magic, you play as Isaac, a toe-headed young orphan that gets taken in by a hideous witch. Or as it's called in our world, the county foster care system. Your task is to collect the seven wands of power. Why? I'm not sure. I guess because other wands wouldn't have sounded as appealing. Yes, the wand of missed opportunity is mine. Now I only need the wand of why to ever break up with him and the wand of I should have been a business major. The combat system in Lost Magic has a pretty unique hook. As a wizard, you're obviously interested in spell casting. To do this, you must use your wand, or in this case, the Nintendo DS stylus. Once you summon up your oh-so-right-wing friendly pentagram, you have to draw a symbol on it in order to power a spell. From there, you tap on a target to let loose your magical mayhem. Conceptually, it's a novel idea to make this stylus your wand, but really, what self-respecting wizard would use such a tiny wand? Or a stylus in general? I hate styluses. The gameplay here is a blend of role-playing games and real-time simulations. It's an interesting combo, and it's certainly pleasant to break away from the standard turn-based model. However, what the developers didn't really work out is how the magic combat system would fit in. It takes so long to call up your pentagram, draw the symbol, and tap on an enemy that you'll often find yourself real-time dying rather than real-time enjoying yourself. Maybe if I didn't have to use a stupid stylus, this problem wouldn't happen. Which brings us to Lost Magic's real flaw. Drawing no spells okay. isn't very fun. <laughs> Look at me, I'm casting the spell for great disappointment. Unless you're a Bob Ross disciple and you like making happy little spells, or you're the guy who invented the stylus and doesn't realize how idiotic styluses are, the excitement factor comes in at around zero. The developers tried to make up for it by allowing you to catch and control monsters like in Pokemon. You can use these monsters to attack opponents or defend yourself, which you think would make up for the slow spell casting speed, but your daft, abominable friends don't have any pathfinding routines in their programming. And that means you'll be doing more constant wrangling to keep them out of embarrassing trouble than one of Tom Cruise's publicists. All in all, Lost Magic is aptly named for all the magic that could have been summoned by some of the more innovative aspects of the game is sadly lost. We give Lost Magic for the Nintendo DS a two out of five. 
Why must the world's most video game obsessed culture also be the most into calligraphy and flower arrangement? Well, at least Italians don't make video games. I would hate to see a fantasy RPG where you cast spells by wearing tight pants and grabbing women's asses. But not everyone is looking for innovative gameplay. Some of us just want a quality title at a reasonable price. And that's why X-Play is proud to bring you another edition of our award-winning series, Games for Cheap Bastards. Salutations, blessed tightwad. We know those former West Wingers in your billfold have made themselves real comfortable in that Naga hide tomb you call a wallet. We've got a way you can have fun and have a little left over to press into the tiny trembling paw of the matchstick girl. It's games for cheap bastards. <laughs> Who wants to hear a bedtime story? How about a naughty bedtime story? Your little puny man. Do what Hedwig say. Fable, the lost chapters for the Xbox want to give you both for the paltry price tag of $19.99. Hooray! For under 20 bucks, you can learn all there is to know about negotiating for the easy leisure of the tender gender. And I think I know exactly what you're looking for. Where, you might say? Why, the brothel, of course! That's right, The Lost Chapters comes complete with a den of iniquity, a nunnery, a chicken ranch. All your favorite crap is still in the game. Odd mating rituals. Did we mention there's a brothel? Hello, love. I'm Polly. Stupid games. <laughs> it also levels up where the previous title left off. A teleportation center will be provided in case you want to go back and boot more foul. The last level is cold and hot. A swirling mass of chaotic magic delivers more challenge and a terrifying climax. These girls are nasty. A wild ride with me will only cost you 50 gold. But so are you! You've been percolating in that freaking armor the whole game. Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition for the PS2 delivers you back to the slaughter orchards of big sorted high flying fantasy for the paltry price of $19.99. As usual, you'll be wading through the corporeal sludge you've liberated from the abundant rotting husks of the title's nasty necromantics. There's a new character to keep old Dante company, and why not further hand at something the game clearly has no relation to? Virgil was Dante's guide in the Inferno, but in Devil May Cry 3, they're brothers. Who cares? You don't want to learn from suffering, you want to cause it. <laughs> The game also lets you up off the mat with an easier mode if your kitty just won't stop whining. We always look for a reason to bring these cute little bastards back on the show. And if the occasion happens to be you, tight ass, then so be it. Pikmin 2 for the GameCube is like the only form of imperialism you can take part in without having a guilty conscience. <laughs> Did you see how many died there? I feel guilty now, little puddler. I'll miss you. The game has wonderful pacing as you fly around rallying specific Pikmin for particular duties, or just rounding up the whole game for a loop around the old spaceship. Pikmin don't just make adorable noises, though. They also viciously kill things. Mommy's little baby's crushing the windpipe of the silly-looking beastie. <laughs> From digging to dying, Pikmin got it going on. Well, silly Simoleon Strangler, I hope you're satisfied. That's three bitchin' titles, all of them $19.99. <laughs> this segment, as always, presumes that you actually have 20 bucks to spend on a game. Mm -hmm. For those of you for whom $20 is an unimaginable fortune known only during the period of time between getting your student loan check and contacting your dealer, we present even cheaper games for even cheaper bastards. Brought to you by driving your girlfriend's car. Emasculation is the only price for elegance when you get your transportation the cost-effective way. By driving your girlfriend's car. Today's even cheaper game for even cheaper bastards is finding a copy of the Friends game for the PS2 in your local discount games bin. Yeah, it's a trivia game about a show that hasn't been on the air for five years. But let's be honest, you're spending all your time watching Friends reruns anyway. In a moment on X-Play, the sting of illegitimacy. And later on, lights, camera, action. Let's compare. If this is other car insurance companies, and this is Allstate, and if they both cost about the same, which would you feel safer with? You're in good company. Last year, over a million people switched their car insurance to Allstate. Surprised? For many people, Allstate actually costs less than those companies that only talk about how much you can save. But there's more to insurance than just saving money. What if you have an accident? Will your rates go up? With accident forgiveness from Allstate, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. What if your new car gets totaled? 
With new car replacement, if your new car gets totaled in an accident, you can get a totally new car, not just a check for the depreciated value. It's a good feeling if the going gets rough. Sign up for Your Choice Auto only from Allstate. Find out how you can start getting better protection in case of an accident and more rewards for driving safer. Call toll-free right now, 1-866-578-8300, and sign up for Your Choice Auto today. Are you in good hands? I happen to have my own company, and I just love what I do. I respect people who try to improve the overall quality of life for each other. I believe if you have a consistent positive attitude that you influence one person and then that person might influence another person and it just goes on and on. I'm an entrepreneur at heart and basically my education has helped me fill in all the missing pieces. I feel well-rounded more than I did before I started my bachelor's degree. I used to look at people with degrees and wonder what do they know that I don't? ITT Tech helped me gain the confidence that I never quite had before. I believe that I will always be able to do whatever my heart desires. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Earn a bachelor degree in digital entertainment and game design, one of today's exciting new career fields. Call 1-800-327-1172 to apply. Nights at 9. Yes. Star Trek The Next Generation is interactive. Yes. Upgraded with 22 new stocks and all new facts and stats. Yes. Resistance is futile. Star Trek TNG 2.0. Weeknights at 9. You will be assimilated only on G4. Owners of a microscopic space fleet, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Hello and welcome to X-Play. I am a giver. From my charitable work with the United Nations Anti-Exploding Barrel Coalition to my recent donation of a number of emptied liquor bottles to my downstairs neighbor, I do everything I can to make this world a better place. But not everyone is as big-hearted as Morgan. There is, in fact, a rogue element in our society who do everything they can to make life more difficult for others. To those men and women, we dedicate this segment, Games for Bastards. Have you ever had to buy a gift for a bastard? A person that just gets under your skin, like that one friend everyone hates, or your boss, or your favorite television personality. Well, we have the solution to your problem. These are some of the most frustrating, aggravating games we've seen. They'll drive you insane. They'll torment your very soul, and they make perfect gifts for bastards. These are games for bastards. Let's start off with Steel Battalion. It's a mech game, nothing wrong with that. It's got decent enough action, and your bastard friend might actually be quite pleased until he realizes he'll have to shell out 200 clams for the real Steel Battalion experience. That would be this big old controller. It's massive. Too many buttons for every little mundane thing. One button will get you Grabnar the Wanderer. It's just too much. Why is this game frustrating? Well, if you die, you die. You get through every level, and if you die on the final one, it's all over. Then the sad music kicks in. That's a little too aggravating for any price. Do you know one of those new agey types who believe in the purification of the ocean? I know one of those types. I hate him. So I got him dangerous waters. It's got an instruction manual that's over 500 pages. And I'm not joking. And it's so, so slow. It's the perfect gift to get your buddy out of your hair forever. That damn bastard. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Devil May Cry has always been a popular series, but those DMC fans do get annoying, don't they? Here's how you can shut them up. Give them Devil May Cry 3. Oh, it's good, but it's tough infuriatingly so. So much so that a follow-up to this game was released with an easier mode in it. But you don't have to tell your bastard friend that. Let's keep that our little secret. Which brings us to Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Is it a difficult game? Of course not. But forcing someone to listen to British voice acting. Lady Tottington, she says that the hall has a major infestation. Simply delicious. Here's a game for the biggest bastards of all, KISS fans. KISS fans follow a band that hasn't had a hit song since your parents went to their first key party. 
Which brings us to Kiss Psycho Circus, The Nightmare Child. Why will this annoy that Kiss fan that won't leave you alone? Kiss ain't in it, even for Kiss. That's ballsy. The closest you get is this song on a strange vinyl disc. What is this, the Stone Age? These games serve a purpose. They will slowly drive you mad. Gary Busey mad. They'll change you and those around you. These are games for bastards. You pathetic, smelly, low-rent bastards. Ha! We'll see about that. Time to pay Auntie Pesto a visit. It's good to know that Devil May Cry 3 is an appropriate choice for the bastard of your choice, whether he's cheap or not. It's probably the fact that as a bastard himself, Dante will probably have lots in common with any number of men of questionable parentage. So what we're saying is, Antonin Scalia, this is the game for you. After the break, colorful orchestrations. And later on, X-Play goes back to the movies. I'm Layla Cayley, and it's time to start the feed. The Golden Globes were awarded last night in Los Angeles. Dream Girls and The Queen were both big winners, although Sasha Baron Cohen did pick up a globe for Borat. The World of Warcraft expansion pack, The Burning Crusade, launches today. The pack introduces two new playable races and many new world areas to explore. Earlier this month, Blizzard announced World of Warcraft topped 8 million subscribers worldwide. Netflix launched a movie streaming download service. Subscribers can choose from about a thousand films to view on their PCs, but are limited to a certain viewing time per month. And finally, a bill introduced in Congress would require all internet broadcasts to include restrictive DRM. A similar bill was voted down last year. Well, that's all for now. Visit us on the web at g4tv.com slash the feed. It's all the news you need to know. I am Layla Cayley, and you have just been fed. You don't have to change what you're about to change your future. If you want to take your passion for everything wired and make it really pay, jump on an associate degree program from DeVry University. You'll get the individual attention, flexible schedules, and hands-on experience you need to step out of school in under two years. Straight into a serious career in technology. You'll even get your own laptop to use while you're in school. And here's where you get started. Go to TheVryWired73.com and check out this free guide to the kind of careers you could really get into. Don't change how you see the world, just how the world sees you. Call or log on now to TheVryWired73.com. But hurry, classes start soon. DeVry University. What do you think of this new stride? Ridiculous, long-lasting government. Thanks, prisoners. <laughs> Stride is a hit. So Brad in accounting says to me, if the flavor lasts so long, won't we sell less gum? <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> Maybe Brad was right. Maybe the flavor does last too long. New Stride, the ridiculously long-lasting gum. Good for you, bad for us. Criminals never take a day off, but neither does justice. Now you can make a difference and help get criminals off the streets. Train in criminal justice, and you could become a patrol officer, border patrol agent, correctional officer, legal investigator, and more. Criminals are smart. Think you could be smarter? Call now to find out how fast Westwood College can train you for a career in criminal justice. For a free brochure, call 1-877-645-2630. That's 1-877-645-2630. Call now. Hey, Mike. I'll be right back. Thanks. These are for your rental. That's it? Yeah. Body shop is picking up your car. Right. We'll call you. Thanks. Switch to Progressive and get complimentary concierge service. It's about you, and it's about time. Homeowners, want to get cash and simplify your bills? Ask about a combo loan from Countrywide. It's a refi that you could use to combine your first mortgage, your second mortgage, your car loan, and all your high-rate credit card debt into one easy loan with one low monthly payment. 
It could save you hundreds every month. Call America's number one home loan lender now and ask for a combo loan. No one can do what Countrywide can. Apply now. Call 1-800-641-0547. They'll never tell you how they really feel. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. As a boy, I dreamed of being like my personal hero, fading Jask as soon as Illinois jacket. Unfortunately, I lacked the manual dexterity to be a truly top flight woodland player. Mm-hmm. But people working in concert can do more than riff a really ducky version of Alexander's ragtime band. They can also win wars. And here's our view of Red Orchestra. Say what you will about Hitler. The man is responsible for a lot of great World War II video games. Some of them are fun to play. And some of them, well, some of them are Red Orchestra, Ost Front 41 to 45. The name Red Orchestra refers to a communist resistance movement in parts of Europe during World War II. But if you didn't already know that, then you clearly aren't the humorless, anal retentive history buff this game was intended for. Ostfront's gimmick is that it's astoundingly realistic. But it turns out that realistic doesn't always equal fun. For example, the game features no crosshairs, so you'll have to aim by using the actual sights on your gun. All right, let's take a look through here. OK, relax, you got this. Yes, I got him. Oh no, that was Fred. Oh, Fred, are you OK? Also realistic is the amount of time it takes to reload and prime your rifles. Any potential for intense firefights is obliterated by the agonizingly realistic prep time needed for each discharge. Damn! Hold on a second while I reload! Wait for it. Wait for it. God damn it! Plus, there are also no indicators to let you know how many bullets are left in the chamber. Yeah, yeah, we know it's more realistic, but when push comes to shove, it's just annoying. Other realistic touches make more sense, but still decrease the fun factor. There are no health packs, and since it only takes one or two hits to kill you, prepare to die more times than Yakov Smirnov at the improv. In Russia, video game plays you! Huh? 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 I know you're out there. I can hear you leaving. We're intrigued by the idea of games that try to be historically accurate. Unfortunately, the end product only appeals to a niche population of World War II enthusiasts. And by niche, we really do mean niche. Like, as in three or four people. Red Orchestra gets a two out of five. All right, don't get discouraged. Get back on the horse again. All right, you can do this. You can... Oh, for sake! I just spawned! Mom! Mom! This game cheats! That seems excruciating. Yeah, yeah, it's war, not shoe repair. Let's see some action here. You know, board games aren't realistic because you're not risking your life. So to compensate for that lost excitement, maybe speed things up a bit, or at least take less than five minutes to reload. And the winner is... Up next, Movie Magic. Viewers agree, it's the show for everything you care about. We're gonna bring you the latest news, oddities, and things that make you go. Yeah. Attack of the show, tonight at 7, only on G4. Most guys try really hard to impress me. Oh my. The competition is stiff. You hitting the gym? Yeah, I like to do some core work. But the winner <laughs> takes off. Those are amazing. Are they veneers? Employee of the Month, now on DVD and Blu-ray disc. Why does that bother you? Why does it bother me? So easy a caveman can do it? Well, it's just a commercial. Okay. Well, what if it said, um, Geico.com, so easy a therapist can do it? Well, that commercial wouldn't make sense to me. Why not? Well, therapists are... Are what? Smart? My mother's calling. I'll put it on speaker. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You're not the same person I met online. What happened to the happy boy in the yearbook picture? <laughs> I told myself I would not leave this date crying. <laughs> Did you know chickens are the only thing that don't have nasal passages? Let's talk about something fun. How about magic? 
Tired of bad dates? Maybe it's time to try eHarmony. At eHarmony, we only match you with other singles who have been pre-screened for compatibility with you. So when you get to the first date, you know you have so much in common. Log on today and get your free personality profile. So where do you think this guy should be? I'd say this way. And let's make sure that sound effect we used in the last level fits in here too. This one? Yeah. You know, I'm so glad I got into game design. It's cool to be able to create the kind of games that we play. I know what you mean. And the training at Collins College takes less time than most people might think. Can you believe we get paid to do this? For a complimentary DVD, call 888-823-0999. Operators are standing by. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. There are moments when fresh breath really matters. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Dorfman, the dentist from Extreme Makeover. For real fresh breath when you need it most, I recommend BreathRx gum and mints. It doesn't just cover up bad breath. BreathRx has Zytex, clinically proven to kill bad breath bacteria. It's dentist recommended. BreathRx, the science of fresh breath. At last, no more cover-ups. BreathRx gum and mints, available at these stores. Go to G4TV.com. Always fresh, always new, always plugged in. Making an offer on Turkey Hill, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. The language of film is international. It brings us together and highlights the very, I don't know, that's the part of the Academy Awards when I just start pretending I'm a sniper and start trying to pick up all the people in the audience who like themselves too much. Morgan's point is that the movies can be really cool. They can also be like Electra. Peter Molyneux's The Movies gave us a chance to get behind the scenes to see what it takes to put together a quality flick. Here's our review of its first expansion. The Movies, Stunts and Effects. What the hell? I paid $10 for that? I knew I should have seen Aquila and the Bee instead. Who made this piece of cat vomit? Oh, that would be me. Well, obviously it's brilliant and ahead of its time. But what does Ebert know about movies anyway? Step into the world of cinema very toss with the movies expansion pack, the movies, stunts, and effects. The original movies game gave the regular gamer a taste of the temper tantrums, the ugly backstabbing, the public drunkenness that you usually only see at movie studio lots and in my dressing room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stunts and Effects continues all the good stuff we experienced before, but now adds stuntmen and advanced visual effects into the fray. Stuntmen are the new star performers in Peter Molyneux's Menagerie of Ego and Bradgelina. The regular actors and directors are whiny balls of discontent, but your Lilliputian evil Knievels only care about two things, their training and their health. It's particularly impressive that Stunts and Effects has gone on to be a true expansion pack and expand the gameplay. The stuntman dynamic enables you to create new, more action-oriented scenes, like this recreation of Commando using cheerleaders. <laughs> But it's not just stunts, it's also effects. Pyrotechnics, miniatures, and FX costumes. Creating a battle between two caddy giants in downtown West Hollywood has never been easier. Beyond just the stunts and effects, there's plenty of extra items and cosmetic differences from the original movie. More costumes, more props, more sets, more careers to wreck. Oh, yeah. But as bad as your homemade movies are, they'll never be as bad as Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves in The Lake House. Sadly, the studio executives keep the new content under lock and key until you play through a significant portion of the game. The movie's expansion pack does a good job of balancing the sim movie studio aspects of the game with the wannabe Robert Rodriguez machinima features. And the machinima studio gets a big old shot of steroids to the jugular. For the advanced auteur, you have free reign with camera position, although it doesn't mean your movies will make any more sense. Bigfoots and UFOs, gee, that's original. If you've always wanted to make your own seventh season of Mr. Belvedere, then this game is probably for you. Although it won't help you get laid, which if you're gonna make machinima episodes of Mr. Belvedere, isn't gonna happen, ever. Stunts and Effects is a solid expansion on an already solid game. We award the movie Stunts and Effects with four uh. publicly drunken atoms out of five. <laughs> I want to see more.
more movies about Bigfoot. Yeah, he and Deborah Winger just disappeared. I haven't seen him in anything since Harry and the Hendersons. Wait a minute, wasn't he in a TV show last year where he was the first female president of the United States? It's Gina Davis. Oh, let me tell this to a part. For quality insults about the mega stars of 1988, you know you can always count on X Play. Today on X.